Nevada, we're doing very well. So I, I guess you see that. That's why you're here. And we're going to have a little fun today. We're doing a speech at the end. And uh, it's been very good. It's been very, very good. Uh -huh. well, my reaction is uh, he was not a good person. That's my reaction. That's, that's sometimes what happens. What events have I canceled? I haven't canceled. She doesn't go to any events. She's a loser. She doesn't go to any events. She didn't even show up for the Catholics last night at the hotel. It was insulting. Uh, they all they are is sound bites. So the day I was at Fox and Friends at seven in the morning. I then went to two different uh, other appearances. I then made about 15 phone calls. I've gone 48 days now without a rest. And I've got that loser who doesn't have the energy of a rabbit. Let me tell you something. She should have been last night with the Catholics. So all they do is put out sound, sound bites. Uh, tell me when you've seen me take even a little bit of a rest. Not only am I not, I'm not even tired. I'm really exhilarated. You know why? We're killing her in the polls because the American people don't want her. She didn't pass her bar exam. She's not a smart person. She's not a person that should represent our country. So I just want to let you know that very clearly. Go ahead. Does that make it easier or more difficult? I think it makes it easier. Have you got to talk to Prime Minister Netanyahu about it? He's uh, called me, yes. He's called me. I have not spoken. I'm going to speak to him probably now. What are you going to tell him? Well, look, he's doing a good job. Biden is trying to hold him back. Just so you understand, Biden is far superior to the, to the VP. Uh, he's trying to hold him back, and he probably should be doing the opposite, actually. I'm glad that BB decided to do what he had to do, but it's, uh, it's moving along pretty good. Everything's moving along. Yes, you have a... You mean deranged Jack Smith? He's a deranged lunatic who lost Florida, is losing everything he's doing. He should have never been put in charge of this case. There is no case. I did absolutely nothing wrong. He's a deranged person. You know what it is? It's called election hunting. That's all they're doing, election hunting. It's the weaponization of the justice system. And the people are wise to it. Nothing was released. There's nothing released. In Florida, he said the same thing, and he lost the case soundly. And he'll keep losing the case. He's got no case. All they're trying to do is anything they can do to help them with the election because they're losing very badly. And the American public is totally aware aware of what's happening. Many claims that millions of undocumented immigrants are here in the swing state to vote for them. What do you say? Yeah, Kamala has allowed uh, 21 million people at least, probably more than that, to enter our country. Many of them are murderers, they're drug dealers, they're uh, people we don't want. They're, they're terrorists a lot. We have the largest number of terrorists in our country right now that we've ever had, according to the records. All allowed by the worst border security in history, and that's Kamala. She was the border czar. I watched her make a fool out of herself with Brett Baer. She was the border czar. She doesn't know what she's doing. This is a woman that doesn't have a clue. Frankly, I think they should put back Biden. And now, based on the numbers, I think I'm doing better against her than I am against Biden. So maybe Biden will go back. They'll do it a third time. Okay. What does it mean to have a Democratic Muslim mayor endorse you here in Michigan? Well, it's an honor. I mean, frankly, it's an honor. Uh, I've got a lot of endorsements from Arab Americans, from a lot of people. So that's a great honor. Do you think it'll move the needle for Arab Americans? Well, I don't think they're going to be voting for her because she doesn't know what she's doing. So I don't see them voting for her. I don't see a lot of people voting for her. She's not a smart person. Mr. President, Mr. President, will you release your health records? Yeah. My health records, uh, I've done five exams over the last four years. You've got them all. Obviously, I'm in the middle of a very big and very contentious fight. We're leading. Uh, I've given my health exams. I've also done cognitive tests twice, and I've aced them, meaning a perfect score. I want to see her do a cognitive test because she couldn't ace because she wasn't born smart. All right, thank you. Thank you, guys. We should pray. You guys, we got to rock this, guys. Well, there you have the former president in Romulus, Michigan.